friends, welcome to this week's MSCB Sports Corner, your official spot for Yellow Jacket Sports. I'm Abby Duffner. And I'm Jake Lepman. And you're joining us here on the MSUB campus in Billings, Montana. We've got a lot of Yellow Jackets news to get caught up on, so let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. All right, since we missed you guys here last week, we're going to give you a quick recap. The women's soccer team finished their season at home with a loss against Western Oregon University and a win defeating Northwest Nazarene University, finishing their year with an overall record of 6-8-2 and 5-8-1 in the GNAC. The men's soccer team continued on the road playing against South Dakota, School of Mines, and the University of Mary. Both games ended in a tie. The men's soccer team is now 3-9-5 overall and 3-6-5 in the GNAC. Jake? Yeah, the men's basketball team lost its opening exhibition game as they traveled to Montana State University Northern 71-50. Uh, finishing up with the recap, the women's volleyball team lost a five-set match against Seattle Pacific University. Also, both the men's and women's basketball teams had an exhibition game as they took on crosstown rival Rocky Mountain College. The men's team fell in a very close game, 104-101, while well, the women's team killed Rocky 90-58. This past week, the women's volleyball team won the battle over Central Washington University in five sets. Also this past weekend, the Colorado School of Mines, Carroll College, and University of Montana Western traveled to Artelowitz Gym for the Yellowstone Bank and Billings Hotel Classic Tournament. The men's basketball team played Friday against University of Montana Western, where they lost in a hard-fought game 78-67. Then on Saturday, they picked up their first win of the season with a 65-60 win over Carroll College. As men's basketball competed at home, the women's basketball team traveled to the sunny state of California where they participated in the Disney West Coast Tip-Off Classic. The Lady Yellow Jackets lost a close contest to Pittsburgh State University 71-77 in their first game on Friday. Uh, on Saturday, they were outplayed by the University of Indianapolis, a really good team. They lost that one 45 to 87. But the women's basketball team ended the Disney Classic with a win, uh, defeating Cal State East Bay 77 to 73. Then heading on to the weekend, the Montana State University Billings men's soccer team closed out the season with a loss to Northwest Nazarene University 5 to 1. The Jackets finished the season 3 10 and 5 overall and 3 6 and 5 in the GNAC. Also on Saturday, the men's and women's cross-country team's 2013 season has come to a close. The men's team finished 9th out of 18 teams, while the women's team finished 19th out of 23 teams. Finishing up the weekend, the women's volleyball team lost a conference match to Northwest Nazarene University in four sets, making their overall record 5-18 and 2-12 and and in the GNAC. Also this past week, Monica Grimsrud has been selected to be the Red Lion Great Northwest Athletic Conference Offensive Volleyball Player of the Week. Last week, Grimsrud had an MSUB and GNAC season high 30 kills in the match against Central Washington University. Grimsrud's 30 kills equals Olivia Monroe as the fourth best all-time at MSU Billings for a match. Big congratulations to Monica. Abby, that was a lot to recap. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this week in sports. Absolutely. Uh, games to watch for this upcoming week, starting with Thursday, the women's volleyball team will travel to the West, where they will take on Western Oregon University at 6 p.m. The men's basketball team will hit the road traveling to South Dakota with their first stop at the School of Mines and Technology playing at 7 p.m. All of these times are Mountain Standard. Then finishing up the weekend with Saturday, the women's basketball team will take on Chatteron State University right here in Alterowitz Gymnasium at 7 p.m. While the men's basketball team continues their travel in South Dakota to Black Hill State University where they will play at 7.30 p.m. Finally, the women's volleyball team will travel to St. Martin's University playing at 7 p.m. All right, just a reminder, you can find all this information and watch the away game action live on MSUV Sports website. That'll do it for this week's MSUV Sports Corner. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm Abby Duffner. And I'm Jake Levin.